Yo, it's Lux from Server Pro, and welcome to this tutorial in which I'm going to show you how to install and use Ore Control. This plugin allows you to change and customize the ore generation in your worlds. It works per world and allows per biome changes too. To install the plugin, head over to the plugin section, go over to the spigot tab, and type in Ore Control. Install the version that is compatible with your server and restart. Alternatively, you can just download the plugin from the plugin page and upload it to your server pro panel. In game, type in slash or control and this will open up a GUI where you can select a world to make changes to. You can create templates as well, but we'll go over that later. Once you select a world, you can either change the ore generation per biome or the whole world. I'm going to select the whole world first, and here I'm able to click on any ore and change a bunch of settings for it. You can also click on some other things like granite and dirt. So let's for example, change the diamond generation. I can disable it completely in the whole world. I can change how many ores generate in a single vein or how many ores generate in a chunk and a bunch more options. You can play around with this and you can change every single option you like. Of course, you can do this for every single ore that is shown in the list here. Let's go back to the biome list. And here, for example, you can make diamonds generate much higher on the Y level, but only in the ocean. This plugin is very versatile, so make any changes you want. And if you don't understand something, check out the wiki as it clearly explains every single option there. Of course, if you want to apply the same setting to a world, you can create a template. So let's just create a template and make gold very, very common. Name it something appropriate, but don't use any spaces or special characters. Then set the settings you want. In this case, I'm just going to make gold very common. After you're done, just open the template and click copy all settings to another world or template. In this case, I'm going to copy it to a world. And that's about it, you're done. But remember, we copied all the settings, meaning that the changes we made earlier to the diamonds in the ocean was overwritten. So make sure you only copy the settings you want. The last thing I wanted to mention is that the new generation settings only apply to new chunks. So you'll probably have to go out pretty far to load in new chunks where the settings are applied. And apart from that, I hope this tutorial was helpful. If you have any plugin suggestions, leave them down in the comments below. If you have any issues with anything, contact our support team. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.